Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Ajay Swarma's YouTube channel and today's video will be discussing Cattell's theory of intelligence. So as far as UG syllabus is concerned, this is the last theory concerning the intelligence. First, we discussed the meaning, nature, definition and characteristics of intelligence. Then we focused on Charles Spearman's theory of intelligence. The next discussion was or next video was on Thurston's theory of intelligence. And the last, as far as the particular UG syllabus of Guru Jambeshwar University of Science and Technology of Hisar is concerned. So this is the last topic, uh, Cattell's theory of intelligence. So as uh, customary or in my uh, old videos, I start discussing, before discussing the theory, we discuss something about the, uh, the psychologist who introduced the theory. As far as Raymond Bernard Cattell is concerned, he was born in 1905 and left for the heavenly abode in 1998, was a British and American psychologist, worked on the basic dimensions of personality, cognitive abilities, motivation and emotion, abnormal personality and social behavior. Uh, he covered a wide range of topics as far as psychology is concerned. Why he focused on too much uh, these subjects? Uh, there is a motivation or there is a uh, support or idea behind his uh, taking interest in the large number of psychological variables is that the uh, large scale destruction and upheaval of World War I forced him to study uh, psychology so that he can apply science to solve human problems. The reason why World War, World War I occurred and the uh, subsequent destruction by that World War uh, focused, forced this uh, gentleman to study psychology that can help in dealing with various human problems. Uh, it was a, the intention was beautiful. He started his PhD in psychology from King's College London and completed in 1929. He worked with E.L. Thorndike and Gordon Alport in various capacities. So uh, you must before uh, going through the theories of the psychologist, we must understand or we must know something of their biography. He uh, took the tradition of refining the factor analysis method for use in psychometric assessment. As you know, factor analysis method was given by Charles Spearman. Later it was developed by the uh, Alan Thurston and further it has been improved and refined by the uh, Cattell. He was pioneer of multivariate research and played instrumental role in systemizing the psychometric assessment. He constructed most famous and personality assessment tool generally known as 16PF. Uh, 16PF means 16 personality factors questionnaire. During working on the intelligence, uh, he identified two types of intelligence are found in a human beings and he named them as a fluid intelligence and a crystallized intelligence. This is a brief uh, introduction of uh, Cattell. Now let us focus on the theory of intelligence given by the R.B. Cattell. Uh, you know, the theory is purely not by the R.B. Cattell, but it is jointly uh, claimed by R.B. Cattell and Joel Alhorn, who uh, suggested that there are two types of intelligence found in human beings. First one as a fluid intelligence and second was a crystallized intelligence and he uh, abbreviated as GF and GC. Uh, G for uh, people tell, that is for journal, F for fluid, G for again journal and C for crystallized. So we'll be discussing a uh, little bit of these theory, these two type of intelligence in the subsequent slides. Let us first explain what he mean to say about GF and GC. These both the type of intelligence and both the component of intelligence explains the cognitive ability of an individual in two different perspectives. One is based on the invariant biological components 
and other is based on the availability of opportunities <laughs> through the learning and stimulating moment means the other one is the uh, outcome of the type of socio or psycho socio cultural environment you are living in the individual with high gf gf means fluid intelligence tend to acquire more gc this means gc is the subset of gf means crystallized intelligence is the subset of fluid intelligence as Cattle and Horn said that fluid intelligence is the inborn capacity, innate capacity, or psychological capacity. This means uh, this is uh, akin to general factor, as suggested by Charles Piven, who said that G a general factor is the native intelligence or innate intelligence. He said that uh, you acquire the individual who has high level of GF means fluid intelligence. tends to acquire high level of crystallized intelligence that is knowledge and at the faster rate so it means if gf is better gs is obviously tends to be better now as uh, we have a little bit of information about our background information about uh, raymond cattle and the uh, concept of gf and gc now let us define gf as well as gc in individual capacity as i told you uh, that fluid intelligence uh, gf stand for the fluid intelligence which one is innate or native or which is uh, genetically inherited it is an uh, inductive and is synergistic because its conclusions do not me- mechanically follows from their premises this is a big statement i taken from the wikipedia see as far as fluid intelligence is concerned it's an inductive one and synergistic do you know what is me what do you mean by synergy synergy means 1 plus 1 is more than 2 when one two things combine their outcome is more than the individual combination individual uh, performance of the both items it is more than 2 so that is synergistic so it is inductive and is synergistic because its conclusions the conclusions drawn by the fluid intelligence or the concept of fluid intelligence do not mechanically or purely uh, comes from the Uh, their premises this is a basic capacity here he word he used the word basic capacity developed to genetic potentiality that have biological basis the same thing gf means similar as charles pirman said about the general factor it, he is also same telling same thing that fluid intelligence is genetic potentiality and based on the biological factors or biological components it has been found that the gf is independent of learning schooling and experience why because gf as cattle said is your innate or genetically defined capacity certainly it is uh, free from the learning schooling and experience irrespective of learning schooling or experience the capacity you have that is a, uh, uh, known as the fluid intelligence it has its own specific developmental pattern where it grows up to a initial decade of childhood and start to decline with increasing age see this is a beautiful phenomena given by the raymond cattle he said that the fluid intelligence grows up to a certain level means when your adolescence is uh, about to end and you are uh, entering in the threshold of your adulthood by that time your fluid intelligence comes to the fullest level of development later it start decreasing or start declining with increasing age this means that genetic capacity doesn't remain similar or same uh, up to your last uh, decades of your life or life long as suggested by charles pirman the g factor is life long and it is a constant but here if we compare both the these theories here raymond cattle said that fluid intelligence though is a genetically defined capacity uh, but it uh, develops up to certain age pattern with a uh, developmental its own development pattern but after that it start declining with increasing age so this is basic difference between the spearman's theory and the raymond cattle theory then comes we'll be discussing the second type of intelligence or let us de- read something about more about this gf is the measure of this intelligence are speed 
and accuracy of recalling and solving of puzzles, abstract and quantitative reasoning, ideation and fluency, etc. Means how much fluently ideas get generated by you or in your brain. Then how fast and accurately solve your puzzles. How accurately you can reason abstractly or quantitatively. What is the speed and accuracy? All these things are the indicators or the measures of this GF or fluid intelligence. The GF can be assessed with Cattell's culture fair IQ test. Raven's progressive matrices. You know what is culture fair? Yes, I think you are right. Culture fair means that test which have no impact of the culture in which it has been developed. Means it can be used across cultures. That is the meaning of culture fair test. Uh, Raven's progressive matrix is also culture fair or culture free test. Bhatia's performance better of intelligence and ways. Wesseless adult intelligence scale. All these are the culture fair test. And when we use this test and prescribe that the particular individual have this much percentile of intelligence or this much uh, level of IQ, we are assessing her or his fluid intelligence. So my dear friends, it's a very important question. So whenever someone asks you or there is a question in your examination, with the help of Bartier's performance battery or with the help of culture fair test of cattle or reverse program batteries or ways, which type of intelligence according to cattle, which type of intelligence is measured, assessed? So you have to answer it is, it is fluid intelligence, GF is measured. It involves brain regions associated with STM attention, means the brain regions that are associated with the, your short term memory and your attention process, that brain regions are found to get associated with the GF or fluid intelligence. So this, this was all about your fluid intelligence assessed by the Raymond Kettle. So we'll be discussing now the crystallized intelligence abbreviated as GC. It is didactive and asynergetic means it is just opposite to the fluid intelligence. Fluid intelligence is inductive and synergetic. Here it is asynergetic as well as didactive. Didactive means you are from general to specific. Con uh, devise the conclusions, inferencing the conclusions from general to specific is a directive. What is inductive? From specific to general. Why it is so? Why it is directive and asynergetic? Because its conclusions mechanically follows from their premises, just opposite to the fluid intelligence. The same thing I have taken from the Wikipedia. Then the crystallized intelligence increases gradually. Here is the basic difference between fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. Where fluid intelligence also develops with a specific developmental pattern. But it stops at one level of the ACE. After that, that starts declining. That is fluid intelligence. But as far as crystallized intelligence is concerned, it increases gradually stays relatively stable across most of adulthood. During adulthood, that crystallized intelligence remains stable and then begins to decline after the age of 65. Means, from childhood, it gradually increases, remains stable over your adulthood and after attaining the age of 65 years, that start declining. This is an ability a resultant of your experience, your learning, your psycho, social or cultural stimulating environment, your schooling means it is this function of your immediate environment. What type of environment you are getting that will ensure your uh, crystallized intelligence means that will form your crystallized intelligence. And whereas fluid intelligence is a genetic, it has it is independent of all these factors, that is experience, learning, schooling and environment. So this is the basic difference between your crystallized intelligence and fluid intelligence. The each type of GC is independent of each other but dependent upon the GF. See, we have more than one crystallized intelligence or one crystallized intelligence in individual. All crystallized intelligence are independent of each other but subsequently depends upon the GF. 
means fluid intelligence. But how we can say that individual has or what are the measures of crystallized intelligence? See, crystallized intelligence can be assessed by use, as, uh, using the various tools, psychological standardized tools or validated tools that assesses your verbal ability. Means, the measures of crystallized intelligence are verbal ability, language development, reading comprehension, sequential reasoning, and general information. Means, the information, general knowledge you acquired, your uh, words, you know, how much words you know, that's your verbal ability. Your, how much language you have, the quality or the grammar of your language, all these things are the indicators or the measures of your crystallized intelligence. The crystallized intelligence can be assessed using a reading comprehension and level of vocabulary type test. It involves those brain regions that are associated with long-term memory. So this is the basic difference between GF and GC. With that fluid intelligence is associated with the, the brain regions which are connected with short-term memory and attention, whereas in contrast, that crystallized intelligence is associated with the brain regions that are associated with the long-term memory. So dear friend, this is all about uh, your Cattell's theory of intelligence that is fluid intelligence and crystallized intelligence. So let us conclude in a one slide. The theory of Raven Cattell's intelligence theory suggests that intelligence has two major components, that is GF and GC. GF stands for fluid intelligence and GC stands for your crystallized intelligence. Both have their different majors and developing process and pattern. They are based on the nature and nurture. Nature means your genetically defined, nurture means your immediate moment. GF has its origin in biological structures, while GC is stimulating learning moment. GF represents inductive, while GC deductive processes. One GF initially rises through adulthood and then declines, while other constantly improves with age and start to decline after the 65 years. Finally, an individual uses GF when he or she doesn't already know what to do and GC in the event of testing of knowledge and general information. So this is a very important and uh, philosophical statement as far as Raymond Cattell's theory of intelligence is concerned. So let me explain this to you. We use GF, fluid intelligence, when we do not know what to do. Means when in the situation of decision making or problem solving, that time, at the juncture where we face various uh, options, we have to decide one. This, that is known as decision making. Then comes another issue, life challenges, dealing with the life challenges or come solving the problems. That time, we use our cognitive capacity that is known as, as per Raymond Kettle, fluid intelligence. But if someone asks you or you need to answer a question that is related to general knowledge, or verbal ability. At that time, you need to focus upon your processing. You have to just recall from your memory and put up the answer. That time, you are using your crystallized intelligence. Simil That's why it has been said that crystallized intelligence is associated with the, those broad regions that are associated with the long-term memory and the fluid intelligence associated with the brain regions that are associated with short-term memory. So, dear friend, this was all about Raymond Cattell's theory of intelligence. These are my references. You can cross-check them or study for more. Finally, the next video we'll be focusing on. So, it's a very interesting thing to tell you. We'll be moving to the semester two, nature of attention. So, but by the time, my dear friends, how you like this video, just write in my comment box or you can write in my email, uh, varmasujit at the rate of yahoo.com, which is just in front of you. And by that time, uh, if you say, if you want to say something to me and you want to write, you can write through the both the patterns. Till the time, thanks for watching this video.